and I apologize to anyone that heard any of that. Uh, oh, I've been having a bit of a rough time. Granny has got the runs today, and it is exceptionally a bad time to have the runs when you're old, because uh, she can't she can't do the running part of the runs anymore. She's, she's kind of got the best she's got is a hobble, um, and that that ain't gonna cut it. How many, how many arrows do I typically use? About probably less than ten, so we'll carry ten just in case. And that way I can also pick up more if need be. So yeah, I've been a lot of today has been me taking care of her and helping her out with cleaning herself up because uh, it's an unholy mess. And you know, I feel like it was just yesterday that I was like, ew, poop. And it's like, yeah, you know, I still hate poop and everything to do with poop. I just don't like it. I'm very phobic about the disease in poop. But you know, at the same time, uh, you know, uh, we all poop and she is a person who is not going to, does not have the capacity to uh, take care of that aspect anymore, you know? So I gotta, you know, what am I gonna do? Let her just stew in her own poop? What kind of a human being would I be if I did that? You know? Glad that all this blossomed. Um, and I mean, like, the same thing happened when I was taking care of mom's twins. You know, it's gross, yes, but, like, what kind of a human am I if it being gross means I'm just going to let this other person suffer. You know, and that's just not the type of person that I am. Uh, that's not the type of person I strive to be. So, you know, it sucks. I don't want to do it. <laughs> I want nothing to do with that mess. But, you know, I also uh, just am not a cruel person. So, you know, uh, I wish it didn't happen. I wish, I wish she, and I mean like with diarrhea, I make a gigantic mess too. Like, I think part of the point of the turn, term diarrhea is that like you lose control over, you know, over being able to, 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 to handle that. Like, that's the point. Like, that's the point of the, the medical term. The term exists specifically uh, to denote the, the loss of control. Um, so, and I mean, so like, we've all kind of been there. It's just that She's of an age now where she can't handle the mess herself anymore. Like, that's just not something she's going to be able to do anymore. So she needs help. And, you know, I'm not going to let her sit in her own, in her own juices and uh, stew. Do you piss off? <gasps> Anyway, shit aside, we completed this, which is great.
and I'd need to just build one row. the green camp. And then I can either do some exploration or uh, start building housing at some of the other camps. And I think I'm going to leave the green camp as just sort of a random pre-settled base for me because like that's, you know, less work for me, less and like I don't need to use it as a like oh man this is going to be a safe place I just need it as a it's dark <laughs> it's dark and I need to sleep right now uh, base so you know as long as it's that like I can just do that I, I don't have to like beef it out into something bigger than that So, all right, we're lagging, we're lagging, we're lagging. We're lagging, we're lagging. We're growling, we're growling. Hi, how's it going? try and follow me over that land bridge? Those bastards. Those bastards. Rawr! Speaking of poop, you guys. Oh, Jabba! Do you have a face sewn on sewn onto your face? I am your king. You are inside of a rock. Well, Well, what you guys up to? How's it going? Where'd your friends go? There were like four of you. Now there's only like two. Yeah, well, I won. Alright, so I've discovered that uh, the trick to fighting these guys is the trick to fighting anything that the computer does. Ow. List slowly to one side and you'll miss most of their hits. I do, however, because I'm bad at listing slowly to one side, need to eat up some meds. Come on. Come on, bro. Come on, man. There goes one. Into the water. You gonna fight me or are you gonna run away? 
Yeah, well, you know. Cool beans, go tell the rest of them how strong I am and to not mess with me. Don't tell them how strong I am and that you need more people to come mess with me because that would be bad. I would not appreciate that. I really wouldn't. So don't do it. I don't think they know where my second base is anyway. My second base is relatively tiny. So. I don't get why I can't see the house. Like, I can see that house, but I can't see this one. I don't know why. Do I have to, like, turn it on? Hang on, let me grab... Let's see a stick first off. Yeah, feathers. Feathers and sticks and whatnot. The good stuff, you know. some water in here too. That's good. <coughs> Alright. Uh, we'll have some dried meat. Alright. Um, here's the, th the other thing though. I can make three ropes. I can make three ropes. What does rope get me? Water skin out of deer, which I don't have yet. Uh, rabbit for boots, which might help. Stick bag I could make. I could make a stick bag. I could also make a spear bag for some... Well, no, I can't make a spear bag. That needs... Spear bag that needs some. Oh, I need more rope. Hold extra sticks, which is good because I'm <coughs> picking up tons and tons of sticks. Shut! Damn it! Sticks are really helpful, so. I gotta figure out how to get a deer. I did like. Okay, so, how many sticks is that? 20? Alright, I kind of guessed. Kind of guessed as much. Alright, it'll probably be close to dark by the time I reach that camp. Which is fine. That's, uh. It's going to suit my purposes quite well. I think I actually need to gather anything else. I've done a pretty good job of ensuring that my... By the way, like the th I, was, I was about to mention the inventory. Um, and like, one of the... Th I don't usually go down for horror games, but one of the things that drew me to this game was the inventory system. This is how good the inventory system was. Because, like, I have, you know, I'm able to carry a lot of everything. Or actually, more specifically, I'm able to carry a little bit of everything. 
Okay, I'm short one cloth now. Great. Um. Oh. There is, I believe, a cave entrance under there. I'm not doing that though. That's a that's more of a cave exit than an entrance. Oh, it's just a deer. Well, I did find a new flower. That's like the thing that's cool is like in other games I I'd, I'd, I'd be full on, you know, flowers. But like this one, like this this inventory system says and you know, yeah, it of course is a little bit nonsensical about like, well, how do I know that I need specifically this many uh, you know, how many uh, that I can only carry specifically this many. But it like for a survival crafting game, that is much more of a handy system because, like, it allows you to gather anything you come across rather than uh, try and be choosy about what you get. You know? Which is the end result of, like... I found the plane. Holy crap, I found the plane. Uh, but that's like the end result of like many of these types of games where like... Uh, where like you are somewhat uh, you're somewhat having to make a choice as to what you're gathering like you, you, you don't necessarily know what everything in the game is going to look like I, I'll I think one of my next steam games might be Subnautica and I, I'm going to go ahead and, and use that as a reference point um I think uh, after I'm done with Assassin's Creed, which will be soon, uh, at the rate I'm going, like I'm going to be done with Assassin's Creed really soon. Um, oh, I need to make that. That needs to be uh, gray for the plane. A very important, a very important spot. God damn it. Um, like this, this this plane has like all of this stuff around it. Um but yeah, so so yeah, like in Subnautica you have an inventory and you know the size of your inventory is the size of your inventory. Different things have different sizes, uh, different weights. Like, you can fill up your inventory with a few items or not. It's hard. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell what you're going to need and how much of it and, and how much space you're willing to dedicate to different things. Uh, so you kind of have to learn gradually what's worth a spot in your inventory and what isn't. Um, which takes time. It, and, you know, it can very quickly frustrate because you start to get to the point where it's like, well, I've got to uh, avoid... 
picking my way through this specific area uh, because I have all of what I need. So like in this game's terms, that would be like me right now, like kind of walking over all of these rocks and, and, and such, not caring about picking those up. Um, but like in this case, it's because I've got as many as I can carry. I, I, I didn't, I didn't have to go, well, I could be carrying all of these rocks if, uh, if I had, um, got another pot. Did these respawn? Did they change that? interesting. Anyway, um, can you build a brain catcher with whatever. I just want to sleep. I'm going to just go ahead and sleep here. Please. But yeah, so like the difference is that, you know, I'm not sitting here carrying 50 freaking, um, fifty freaking rocks hoping to find, you know, without like wandering, um, just let me sleep. Why can't I sleep yet? Ooh. Okay. Can I? Wait, didn't I have a torch? Oh yeah, here it is. <coughs> okay, that's not as good as I was hoping. Sleep. Thank you. But yeah, so... I forgot what I was saying. So yeah, no, so the, the difference then is that like... Um, The difference is that, like, I'm not caring nearly as much about, uh, how much of what can I carry. Like, I'm now in the situation of, well, I can carry as much of this as possible. It's just a better, si it's just a better system for the style of game. Like, if this were Factorio, I'd be livid. Because, you know, like Factorio, you need thousands upon thousands upon thousands of each item, and you're supposed to automate all of it anyway, so I might not actually be all that livid if it were used in Factorio. But, like, this kind of system for, like, Subnautica, what it does is it incentivizes travel. I can't sit here and go, well, my inventory is full of X. And so I, rather than go travel... Um, I'm going to have to go back to base and 
drop all this junk out off. I'm going to have to build the chest and turn all of this into, um... into... Like, put, put all of this away and, 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 you know, and then organize my inventory and diddle around with what I found and yada, yada, yada. You know, like, just all of the, the nuts and bolts of... of, uh... of... adventure gaming, you know, of this, of this style of gameplay. Uh, I still don't have a map. No, it won't work anyway. It'll just go away. You know, meanwhile, I have, like, I've got a full inventory of sticks. But... I can carry more of everything else, anything else, anything that I might find that I have not filled up the inventory of yet. You know, I could have had this, it could be the situation where, like, only I could fill this pouch up with only blueberries, and then, like, if I came across any of this stuff, oh well. Okay, this is cone flowers I use for something. Health mix plus. all that I got. Alright. But, you know, like, I, I can just continue to go exploring. I can, I, rather than, you know, setting down, settling down and, and, and unloading all of my shit. And, you know, like, I still should have storage for certain things. Sticks and rocks and logs, which I need a lot of. But, if I run into something new, I don't have to play the inventory game of, like, well, damn, when am I going to find this again? I better figure out what I can drop out of my inventory. Throw away those 500 rocks I've been lugging around for God knows what reason. And, uh... Okay, so I found the plane. I found that cool camp over there. I've got an ice thing. I've got an ocean thing. Um, I've got one at the sinkhole, I've got one over there, um, there's one more major landmark that I really want to find, uh, and that's the boat. I found it before, but I really want to have that boat. I want to have, I want to have a marker near that boat. So... Let's go take a look-see and try and find the boat. And if I run up to um, something else that's interesting, I still have some cloth, so I can just build a I can build a, a marker on the spot. Right now, the main goal is just marking things that are of interest: caves, landmarks. Um, Anything that I might need to find my way back to. This also helps me by creating a visual map of the area. A way for me to... Uh, tell where everything is. 
That's not the ocean, is it? Regardless, this is going down. Let me have that cloth. Thank you. Oh. Oh no. Uh, up here with that thing or down there with probably gators or sharks or something. I'm going to take the gators or sharks. Or whatever's down here. That's just me. You know. I'm going to pick my battles and I pick this one. Whatever's down here can't be worse than knowing what's up there. I will take the unknown horror over the known horror. Also, think. What am I looking at? Okay, those are the shipping containers. I think I should put a landmark there. Those are important. Um, there's, there's something important about them. I can't remember what. I just know that they are something that's important. I need to I need to know where they are. And again, this is where like having homes at all of these locations would really help because I'd be able to go, oh, well there's a landmark that I put down a little while ago. This is an ocean landmark. This is right near the ocean. Gwink. Gwinkus. Pull up on those. All right. Look at all the sea turtles. All right. There's an unbroken box. More circuits. Circuits, 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 all right. You know, on the other hand, putting a house right out there on that island. <laughs> I mean, it'll be a bitch getting the logs over there, but if I can do that, well, like, I think the idea... Oh, my God. <laughs> this is... This is the very first. It's still standing. This is the very first thing that I made. That's amazing. I also like that there's certain items that you can just hold 
a, a metric ton. Like, a, an actual ton of. Like, cloth, um, any of the, like, suitcase loot items. Uh, meds, well, not meds, apparently, but, uh, snacks and sodas you can carry quite a few of. Like, a really large number of, and it's largely because, like, those are semi-limited resources, and it's going to be very, very difficult to find any. So when you do find any, uh, you're going to want to grab them. But I think to get a house out on those islands, the trick is... Build a bridge. Uh, okay, it's not one of them running at me. Maybe, maybe don't laze around with some water just yet. Let's find that boat. boat that I'm looking for. Oh! Is that an actual camp that I can use? Is this usable? It is. Alright. Uh, this... I'll just mark this as a free camp. Green for free camp. right here. Marshmallows? They had marshmallows. Yeah, it's really weird feeling. That is a gigantic anchor. It's a really weird feeling that like, well, I can just run back to there. That like, um, Hello? This is mine now. I need to put this somewhere. Can I set this on like a tree? Hmm. Got a ton of stacks at the moment. Do I need to like build a wall of some sort? of logs sitting around out here. Alright, I'm carrying you with me. This is mine. Can I take anything from the rest of the body? No? Alright. 
Oh, there's another one. There's a few. The fuck? I mean, I'm still putting this one up on a pike as soon as I find a place where I can put where I can put it. But like. It is starting to look like I'm gonna loop back around to hello. This is promising. Alright. Got some boxes. So long as I don't go in the water, I should be fine. Which presents a problem. If they show up, my best defense is in the water, but I can't go in the water. The boat. That's the boat, right? Oh my, this is a cute little cove. No, that's not the same boat, is it? It could be. Regardless, this is definitely the place where like I need I need a marker. In fact, this, I believe, is a relatively safe spot. I, again, am, like, kind of offset by how few enemies there are out here. And I really think it's because, like, they're trying, they center themselves around where most of the, where the most construction is. So because I built all that shit up that way, they're now, like, all over there and it's just like I'm just strolling around the rest of the island is mine yeah there's a this is a beautiful little cove full of other dead sharks you know I'm starting to feel like I don't need to carry this around anymore it's like look at all these dead sharks that I could just cut open and take their heads instead This is also as close to that as I'm getting, so let's go ahead and quickly, uh, what? Uh, here. And we're gonna set that to the ocean. And I'm gonna just start hammering away, grab all of this stuff. Suddenly, I've got a strong feeling that I should not go out to that boat. Just, you know, a feeling. Be right back. Just the temporary shelter. 
I'm gonna actually make that now. I'm gonna just straight make that. Alright, this apparently only lasts uh, one night. Now I want to check those notes. There we go. I hit the wrong button. Oh, I'm still hitting the wrong button. <laughs> yeah, and then it just kind of falls apart. And I get none of it back. Cool. That's cool. I like that. Is the head still here? I mean, why desiccate another corpse when I've already got the one? I will desiccate another corpse if I need to, but, you know. Yes, I need to. Alright. Your head will do. Alright. I think that's my base up there, which is really kind of sad, because, like, I was this close to the boat the whole time, although I could be wrong. This is kind of the other problem with, uh, this is kind of the issue with, the, the reverse issue with this style of thing, is that, uh, I can see what direction everything is in, but uh, I can't tell how far. I made that declaration based off of what looked like semi-familiar territory, in that I thought I had glanced in this direction before. That's not necessarily the case. It could be quite some distance to get there. It is quite some distance to get there. Though, I am much closer to this one, which is good. All right. Can I use... <laughs> yes. 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 I will suit. I will. I will situate this. <laughs> oh. All right. I have a monument. My first national monument. It's perfect. What do you think, bird? It's perfect, isn't it? Absolutely perfect. All right. I think that's going to do it for me. <laughs> I think that's going to do it for me for today. I'm going to save and get off. I'll see you guys.